With the tooth cleaned and shaped, it is time to fit a master cone. One way of determining a final working length is with a paper point. A paper point is inserted to the length. It should come back clean and dry. Insert the point a bit further than the previous point. When the paper point comes back showing red, you've gone past the apex. Pluggers are fitted into the canal space in succession. In this animated example, the large plugger reaches a few millimeters into the canal space. A smaller plugger goes several millimeters further, to mid-root in this example. The smallest plugger should get within five millimeters of the working length. A gutta percha cone is selected to closely match the canal space. The cone is inserted to length. The appropriate cone should bind slightly at the apex and exhibit a slight tug back when removed. Here, about a millimeter is clipped off the apical end of the cone. It is then coated in sealer and reinserted into the canal space. The sealer adheres to the canal walls as the cone is worked back and forth. A thin coat of sealer is desirable for these techniques, so in this animated example, we remove the cone to show that there is still some sealer on the cone as well as the coating that is left on the canal walls. The cone is reinserted to length. A heated instrument is used to remove the excess gutta percha. Downpacking begins with the largest plugger. It is worked around the orifice. It is then pressed into the gutta percha mass and held for about five seconds and then removed. 